Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun Verma with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy. Today, we're gonna to talk about lisinopril, also known as Zestrel or Prinavil. Probably don't know them by those names because this is an old, oldie goldie when it comes to hypertension or high blood pressure, uh, whichever you know it by. Almost pretty much everyone gets started on this. This is like a, what they call first line therapy for people with hypertension or high blood pressure. Um, how does it work? So it works by preventing your blood vessels from constricting. You constrict them, less blood gets through them, and you know, the bet worse it is. But the more bigger your vessels are, the more blood gets through them, and then that's good. So that's what it does, is it prevents them from restricting, keeps them open, and that's how it does its job. It also helps do its job a long way, you know, it's a long explanation, but essentially you pee out a lot of fluid, and that's what also prevents, uh, high, or what helps relieve your high blood pressure. Um, let's see here, and it's considered an ACE inhibitor. Um, again, long talk, we don't need to worry about that. Essentially what you need to know is it reduces your blood pressure, okay? It's used for people with hypertension, heart failure. Um, you can even use it um, for people with diabetes as well because it has like renal protective properties. It protects your kidneys essentially. Um, which in anyone who does have like renal disease of any kind, you need to get your, your lisinopril will be adjusted. If it's not, you need to make sure you tell your doctor about that. If you do have any sort of like drown dialysis, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let's see, beyond that, um, you know, you don't get too many side effects. It's a really benign medication. Most of the population is on it. I mean, it works fantastic. It's great, it's cheap from a pharmacy standpoint. We, we don't want people to pay a lot for their meds, so it's a very cheap medication when it comes to hypertension. Um, we, we highly, highly recommend it. Uh, one of the things you wanna watch out for is a persistent dry cough that doesn't go away. If you're just kind of hacking and there's nothing coming out, it's just a dry cough, and you don't know why you have it. Let's say you started it over summertime and you know you shouldn't have a dry cough over summertime, um, then that's a side effect of the medication. It won't go away. You're always gonna have that dry cough, and you may not even think nothing of it, but you know maybe someone next to you might go, hey, you know, lately you've been coughing a lot for no reason. You know, then that's it. Especially when you go to sleep, you'll definitely notice it. Uh, whenever you go to sleep, you cough a lot more. We need to switch you on to a different medication because you're always going to have that problem with this medication. So let your doctor know if you if you get that dry hacking cough, um, and it, it's not like a a big cough. It could just be something like <clears throat> my throat's just extra dry. <clears throat> that even that counts. Um, because you're gonna be peeing a lot more, and not a lot more, but because you're gonna be peeing a lot because this kind of gets rid of extra fluid, you do need to make sure that you are drinking plenty of water um, and that you're also taking in plenty of like minerals. So it, it can deplete your you know, potassium and your salt, but your doctor should be checking that in your labs anyway, but just be on the lookout. You know, if you don't eat enough like potassium and bananas or whatever, you may wanna kind of end up that a little bit, just to a normal amount. You don't need to eat more than usual. You don't need to eat like, two or three bananas a day, because you do that, you'll, you'll end up in problems. You don't want to do that either. Uh, but you just want to make sure that you're eating a well-balanced diet with multivitamins, and then that'll prevent whatever it is that you're going to pee out. Because um, essentially, you're going to be peeing out vitamins and minerals, essentially. So we just want to make sure that we put those back in your body, too. Here's a list of the other side effects that you might want to watch out for. Let your doctor know if you have any of these that really bother you too much. And then beyond that, there is a black box warning for this medication, and it's for anyone who has just become pregnant. You cannot be on this medication. It will hurt the fetus. So, uh, you know, make sure that your doctor knows and, you're, and there's almost no situation. I mean, it's all up to the doctors, but I don't think there's any situation where you stay on this medication if you're pregnant. It just doesn't happen. Not safe for the baby. So make sure that, you know, your doctor is aware of this or you are aware that you're pregnant because that'd be worse is if you don't know you're pregnant and you've been on this medication for a while. So, I think that kind of covers it, guys. Again, leave us any comments, suggestions on how to improve these videos. These, these videos are really for you guys. That they're, they're meant to help you be a supplement. As always, if you need more in-depth uh, information, call your, your doctor, your local pharmacist, or call us here at Telfer Specialty Pharmacy. We'd love to chat it up with you guys about this. And, or if you want us to make like a whole video on what is high blood pressure and what happens to your body. Because essentially, your heart system is like a plumbing system that, you know, that's the best way to explain it. And so we can kind of really break it down to you. What happens, what happens to all your different 
hyping that goes on in your body and your heart if you have congestive heart failure. So we can break that all down for you. We really enjoy that kind of stuff. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. See you guys.